Assalamu alaikum. I welcome you all to another lecture on power electronics. In the last lecture, we discussed about the type of switches. We found that there are two type of switches with respect to their connection. One is a low side driver switch, another one is known as a high side driver. In that respect, we discovered about the gate driver's requirement for the low side switches of the MOS FET and for the BJT. In the current class, we will only have a discussion on the high side driver, their need and their drive circuits. However, we shall also have a look on to various kind of practical control ICs which are available for the uh, gate driver circuits used in uh, various applications of power electronic. So let us start uh, with the with the high side driver circuitry. Now, uh, to understand the high side driver circuitry, I will draw the circuit of the of a of a buck converter which is made of a MOS FET. Here we have this, this diode and these are the filter components. We have this inductance, we have this capacitance and here we have the load and sensor. Now, for uh, likewise any MOS FET, this MOS FET will only work when the gate to source voltage will be greater than the threshold voltage for a given, uh, for a given device. So here we have the, here we have the gate circuit here, here we have the source and this is the, this is the drain. The drain is connected with the with the source voltage, which is this Vs. So if I apply a gate signal to this uh, MOS FET, what happens is that immediately this will, uh, as soon as it will cross this V threshold, the uh, MOSFET will try to turn on, and when it will try to turn on, then this V uh, source becomes equal to the equal to the Vs, which is the supply voltage. Which means that the VGS should have a voltage where this VG minus VS should be greater than this threshold voltage. Now, if this threshold voltage is equal to 4 volt and we have this source volt equal to 100 volt, then this means that the VG minus VS should have uh, at least 104 volt so that when it, it goes into a conduction state, then it will uh, have a voltage between the gate to source which is greater than this threshold voltage of, of 4 volt. Now, this is a big problem because we not only require to have certain type of uh, IC that is able to withstand this or, it, or that is able to have a voltage uh, above this uh, source voltage. And this source voltage may be of 100 volt, it may be of 200 volt, it may be of 50 volt. So, therefore, we require to have certain type of circuitry where we can actually have a voltage shift uh, applied on uh, the gate to source uh, circuit. Now, one way of accomplishing this VGS greater than this uh, this threshold voltage is to use some uh, sort of uh, an isolated uh, mechanism or isolated uh, DC to DC converter, where that converter provides this VGS irrespective of the common uh, requirement of the ground uh, with this uh, with this particular circuit. Now, one such circuit can be made by using uh, a DC supply of nine volt. So, uh, let me redraw this circuit here. So here we have the here we have this MOS FET. Now we want to turn this on by using some isolated mechanism. One way is that we have some sort of IC. Let us for this is TC four four two four. TC4424 is a very versatile and a very convenient uh, IC to drive the power saving connector switches irrespective of their of their position in the circuit. So it is a high side driver, it could be a low side driver, so that is not a problem uh, to turn this MOS FET on using this, this particular uh, you know, circuit that I am uh, going to explain here. So here we have the, here we have the input coming in. So this is the system here. The VCC, instead of giving it from the circuit common, we come, we make this VCC available through some uh, some battery of nine volt battery here. Let us say we have this, we have this nine volt battery here, and we have uh, we have a common ground here. So whatever we are getting here at the output is actually a nine volt signal with respect to uh, with this according to the negative terminal of this nine volt battery. And we shall be connecting this to to this circuit. This is the gate circuit here, and this one, which is the negative terminal of the battery. Remember, I'm talking about this battery, which is a, a very simplified. Why batteries are available with this uh, nine volt uh, voltage rating? It's not a 
uh, it's you know it's it is very commonly available even in the common shops. So we will try to connect this negative one. We will take this negative uh, side here and we will connect it with the with the source here. So now this gate to source uh, channel will be formed by the power supplied by with this simple uh, battery without having a need for the voltage shift of of this uh, gate signal so that this VGS is become greater than this this V threshold. Now this is a sort of a method which is not a standard method. However, it is successful. You can successfully you know rectify a given circuit before you know you want to create an actual uh, you know circuit. It will work fine. But there's a problem that this battery which are which we are we have used to bias this uh, TC4424 or which is used to power supply this uh, particular IC. This has a limited energy here. Right, so the energy is limited, and this means that the uh, it will drain uh, within you know a very short span of time, uh, depending on the gate current requirement here. So an alternate method is to use an isolated supply here. So instead of having the instead of having this uh, as a battery, we can also use some isolated. DC to DC power supply, uh, which is uh, can be made by which can be made by using any isolated DC to DC converter. But again, when we have these isolated converters available or isolated uh, DC power supplies available, it will make the overall circuit more complex. One way of having a voltage shift or to to gain the voltage shift is to use some circuit where uh, we have uh, sort of a voltage uh, clamping circuit. The voltage is clamped such that the VGS stays above the V threshold for the entire duration of the on time. So we will discuss this uh, this circuit now. So let us say that we have we have a device here that we want to that we want to turn on. Here we have the here we have the load. This is the ground. Let us say this is this is VS. So here we have the So, so we have this is the device on the test, or which is uh, we can say this is a high side, high side switch here, and we have this VS available. So you can see that there is no external uh, circuitry involved. We are not using any kind of isolated DC to DC converter. Rather, we have a network of components which are now used to have an artificial uh, voltage uh, shift to make this device in an on state uh, during the uh, time when we want to turn this device on. So uh, we have the uh, three switches, S1, S2, S3, R and C are the uh, uh, are actually part of this network. So what we uh, do is that whenever we have this uh, control signal high, let us say this is the control signal. So when we have a high control signal, then uh, for a high control signal, we have S1 on, we have S2 on, and we have S3 also on. So with this thing, uh, the S1, S2, and S3 on, what we have is that the this capacitor is actually charged to a voltage that is equal to that is equal to Vs, and that that is equal to Vs, and in this particular arrangement, so we have the uh, we have the C charged to this Vs. This device under test, this high side driver, because this S2 is also on, so this point is grounded, and therefore this remains off when we have a high side uh, control signal available. So uh, so with this S1, S2, and S3 on, we have the capacitor charged at, capacitor charges at equal to this Vs. So when we apply a low control signal, 
then the switch S1 and S2, they both become uh, off. And therefore, the capacitor shall have uh, the voltage across the resistor and the, and the gate circuit. So this is, uh, this is quite a, an interesting thing here. So you see here that this particular point, here we have this Vs, this is plus, this is minus, and this complete becomes equal to equal to this Vgs. So now if we apply if we apply the, the KVL in this uh, in this particular loop, then this KVL states that we have we have the Vg minus Vs, and then we have this minus Vs, and that is become equal to zero. So Vg becomes equal to two times two times the dBs. And this uh, actually turns on this device for the duration when we have a low control signal applied on on this particular device. This circuit, this particular circuit, where we are using this diode, this capacitor, and this resistance is uh, this is known as a bootstrap uh, a bootstrap circuit here. So bootstrapping is the second way of of turning on the high side driver circuit. The first way that we have uh, elaborated is by the use of a DC battery. And we can also use some isolated DC to DC converter. The second one is that instead of using additional uh, DC to DC converters here, we can have a bootstrapping circuit here that actually works like a voltage uh, clamping circuit, such that when we apply the high side, uh, high signal to these, these switches S1 and S2, this capacitor gets charged to a value equal to this Vs, and when we turn this uh, control signal uh, off, then the device under test or the high side driver uh, has uh, get, gets a signal VGS that is equal to two times the VS value. So with this with this value of two VS, it remains turned on during the entire duration when the uh, signal of the control side is low. Now, fortunately, we are fortunate enough to live in a technologically advanced uh, you know world, and therefore. Uh, we don't need to do everything by scratch. Most of these uh, uh, arrangements uh, with respect to this switch, this switch S1, S2, and S3, they are available in the commercially available gear driver ICs, which are made by famous in the famous companies like Vishe Electronics. We have for uh, RS components also create these type of circuits, and these circuits have internally available components that act like these switch S1, S2, S3. Most of the time, just to uh, actually get the control on the on the applied voltage for the high side driver circuits, these uh, two pins R and C are left open, and formulas are given to adjust their values according to the requirement of any given circuit. So we will uh, undergo these uh, these control ICs now. So these control ICs are available in in different uh, uh, configuration in different pin uh, sizes uh, they are available for the surface mount devices they are also available in dual inline packages and various companies create ICs for various uh, kind of uh, you know requirements so we can we can classify these control ICs in three different types the first one is those ICs which are only for low side driver circuits or they are made only for or the high side driver circuit. Then there are control ICs which can be used for both high and and low side switches. And then we have another uh, type of uh, the control ICs which are used for for half bridge configurations or for uh, the full full bridge configuration. So half and full bridge configuration circuits mean that they cannot be used independently for driving the single uh, a single switch, whether or not it is connected on the high side or it is connected on the low side. So they are only being used to uh, drive this leg, which is usually uh, available in all the bridge configurations. The one which we uh, can use for independently for low and high side switches, they are acknowledged by the student community because most of the time when we provide them the circuits to uh, to develop, they are the boost converter and the buck converter and other basic converters. And most of them, they opt for these uh, switches that can be used for the low and the high side driver circuits. However, there are certain circuits which uh, uh, circuit, uh, there are circuit certain ICs that can only be used for low side drivers and there are some circuits which are only used for the for the high side drivers. So 
I have actually, uh, I have gathered the data for these control ICs and it is available on my website. Let me, let me showcase that uh, for your convenience as well. So, so this is uh, uh, the website pvhugator.blogspot.com and here we have uh, gathered that on the gate driver IC circuits. And you see here that they are uh, classified in terms of various attributes, for example, the IC number, the biasing voltage range that can be applied on their VCC with respect to the ground, their output current capability, their output signal, whether or not they provide a non-inverted signal or an inverting output, then the input pins and there are certain comments that are made based on my literature review. So here we have this TC44342324 uh, up to 25, they, have, they are quite versatile and the most important point is that they can be used independently for high and the low side with one input uh, in use. And then we have fan 3223, it is uh, 4.5 to 18 volts. So you can see here that most of the control ICs that I have uh, looked onto during the literature review, they are uh, capable of having the biasing supply between the 4 to 18 volt. However, there are certain uh, two or three ICs that are capable of working up to 25 volt here. Also, we can see here that these uh, ICs have various, uh, has varying current output uh, ratings. And therefore, this 4434, if it is able to give a maximum of 3 ampere output, this fan 3223 is capable of providing this 5 ampere. Some ICs are, uh, uh, you know, quite a very powerful IC, such as this fan 3121, which is capable of having, uh, of producing an output of 11.4 ampere. Similarly, we have this, uh, uh, the, the, the list of these low side drivers only. And then we have this ICL 767. It can be used independently for high side and low side power MOSFET. So you can see the data sheet to have a thorough understanding of uh, the working of this particular uh, IC. Also, we can uh, see that there are some devices which are used only for the H bridge such that we have this IR2110. It is a 25 volt maximum input. It can be applied. It can apply. It can uh, give or it can provide a current of 2 ampere at max. It is a dual input IC, H bridge IC that can be used with a non isolated power supply and can independently drive high or the low side switches. So there comes the uh, the third category of the power uh, power MOSFET driver ICs. Then we have IR2 triple one, which is an IC only for a complete H bridge. So the difference between this uh, uh, this uh, 2110 and 2111 is obvious. It can be independently drive higher low side switch, where a 2111 is only for a complete AP circuit. Then we have the IR2125. These all are from the International Rectifier, which is a renowned company of uh, uh, the development of these uh, power semiconductor uh, based products. And it is able to provide uh, uh, independently for high and low side MOSFET. 2 ampere is a maximum uh, amount of uh, current that they can actually provide. And uh, in this same uh, thing, uh, this is the uh, the uh, this is the circuit schematic that uh, that can be used to uh, use this uh, IR2. Uh, this is to TC4424 IC and it can be used to to drive the uh, power MOS FAT by using the using the battery. So for the battery, you just need to provide this VDD here through that uh, through that uh, nine volt or ten volt or nine or twelve volt battery. So, other than the fact that we have classified these uh, gate driver circuits in terms of these three, uh, you know, uh, these three, the, on, on the basis of these three attributes, the control IC has a lot more to do. The first thing is that it has to provide the DC output sensing is sometimes required. And then we also need to, to correct that. We, we also need to have the voltage to, to PWM conversion. And this is also done on the IC level. And then we have the uh, protection is there. So we want the IC to automatically shut down in case of an overcurrent. So we have the overcurrent protection is one attribute that is required and for a given power supply. And then we have the, then some, uh, some, Inductive loads or the dynamic loads such as the, the motor based uh, loads, they require to have a soft start. We also want to have the dead time compensation that is an integral part for all the bridge based circuits. Then we also want to have a remote shutdown option so that we can shut down the system based on the signal applied to the control IC. 
uh, we require to have an internal oscillation circuit. Internal isolation is required. Then the generation of a stable V reference to for the functioning of various components which are fitted inside the inside the control IC. So one such IC which is widely used for the control of the switchable power supplies is the SG3525. SG3525 is a very trusted uh, IC for the switch mod power supplies. So let us draw one circuit based on the uh, SG3525 and understand how it works when it is applied on on a bridge uh, circuit with uh, with isolated uh, topology. So let me draw the circuit here and then uh, we will uh, we will see. So, so this is a simple circuit for the uh, for for the isolated distributed uh, DC converter. SG3525 is doing all the stuff which is required for the control of uh, this particular uh, this particular system. So here we have the oscillation frequencies can be set by using these two capacitors CT and this RD, and this F is equal to one over CT into zero point seven on C plus three times RD. More can be seen on the application notes of this particular SC3525 IC. But this is a very trusted IC for the control of the isolated DC to DC converter. Remember that in power electronic systems, all the things are automatically, they, they work automatically based on their properties. However, there are only the switches that are need to be controlled. And those switches require to have a complete circuit where we 
have an isolation between the control algorithm and the uh, the power side. So these uh, are this this is accomplished by the application of the uh, of the optocoupler circuits and the uh, gate driver circuit. So in the next lecture we will discuss about the heat sinks, their uh, design uh, in a, in a, and their general design for a given uh, power semiconductor switch. But till the next class, take care. Allah Hafiz.